All right, Pisces. So I didn't do this reading once. I got significantly triggered in it. So I'm going to try to calm my attitude down and I'm going to try to jump back in it. I was going to do a love reading and I was going to say, shout out when y'all start getting married and stuff, y'all better invite me. I know people are starting to try to get pregnant with a significant other. Some of y'all's getting back with people from your past. Y'all better invite me to these weddings. Just saying. But I was going to do a love energy update and I had heard earlier, you need to do a reading on who's watching and who's talking. And energy's coming out where there's gossip around a dynamic or connection that you have or you had. What I keep hearing is, why are you being so secretive? Why are you not telling us? So you might not be telling family members, friends. There's some sort of secret element or aspect where it's like, but it's none of your damn business. That's what I'm getting. I'm going to just be honest with you. But again, there's chatter about this, okay? There's chatter. People could be talking about the fact that you're making some sort of healthy choice. There could also be an energy here where people are saying that you're lying about something. Some sort of dynamic connection. Something of that sort. <clears throat> I'm no longer entertaining. I don't know what I was saying. There was a group of three that you were around. You used to work with these people. <clears throat> these people were liar, cheater, thieves. You couldn't trust them. You might have trusted them, but you couldn't trust them. These people could be talking about you now. They could be talking about something to do with work. Something that you had going on at work. These people could also be saying that you've cleaned yourself up. Maybe appearance, maybe attitude, maybe partner-wise, but these people are like, you know what, Pisces has cleaned their self up. These people could actually want to approach you and have a conversation with you. Yeah. Because they wanna know something. These people are really stuck. It's like, but we know the truth. We just need you to confirm the truth is what they want. <clears throat> And I'm, I'm seeing that you're like, cold day in hell. You think you know the truth? You don't know nothing. And that's what I'm getting. It's like these people think that they know something, but they don't know something. Okay? It could have, it could have come out that you couldn't trust these people. So what I'm getting is that you could have trusted people that you shouldn't have trusted. Now you've, you're keeping things close to your chest. But these could be people who like to stir the pot. They love drama. They love conflict. They love that competitive type of energy. And there could be something here where even if you're done with it, even if you're over it, even if it isn't a fact or even truth, these people cannot let it go, okay? And th for some reason, they can't let you go. I don't know why. <clears throat> the Empress, Page of Wands. Oh, okay, 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 okay. There's a fun, like, authentic energy that you have about yourself that these people can't match. They can't compete. There's a very stuck and stagnant energy that they're like, but we know the truth. We know what happened. We know what's reality. When in reality, I don't feel that they do. Why are they gossiping? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Could be around family, legacy, money, finances, or security. <clears throat> could be something you turned your back on. So these could be people you turned your back on. There could be in a collaboration of three where you rejected or dropped these people like a hot potato. You were like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. And they could be talking about that. You could be at a place where you're more in the moment. You're, work you're working. You're working on yourself. You're focusing on yourself. You're not worried about the future. You're not worried about the past. You're literally in the present. But these people could be talking about something that they feel that you're hiding. Okay, for a lot of you, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm hearing Taylor Swift. I knew you were trouble when you walked in is what I'm hearing. So these people could be <coughs> trying to say that you're hiding something, you're lying about something. My throat's going out. It keeps going out. And that has to do with being authentic, being honest, being truthful. 
These could be people who are starting drama behind your back, talking about you behind your back. Again, it's like you could look these people straight in the face and tell them the truth, but they're going to tell you that you're a liar. And I feel like you drop these people like a hot potato. I feel like you found out that they were not trustworthy. You couldn't trust them. They were liars. They were cheaters. They were thieves. They were sneaky. There was some sort of energy where it's like, oh, hell no, I'm not dealing with that. And you dropped them. But now they're talking about something that you have going on something that they feel that you grew, but that you're lying about. So in these people's mind, they know something as a fact, even though it's not a fact because they weren't there. Oh, well, Pisces told me how we know Pisces didn't lie because I'm gonna tell you something and I used to do this. I used to tell my friends certain things to see if they were going to go and say something. And nine times out of 10, that little gossip train would come back around. And guess what? That best friend done ran a damn mouth. And you know who it is. You know who it is. Because if you tell each person something different and that one piece of information gets out, guess what? You're sneaky. But that could have been something where it was like you told this person something to test them. And it could have gotten out. But now they see that as... It's a fact, but no, 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 you told me this. It's factual. It might not be factual. It could be something that you told them for you to be able to expand, for you to be able to grow. It was a message of good news or some sort of fun type of energy where it's like, yeah, 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 this is, this is growing, this is happening. And then it could have got leaked and you could have been like, uh-huh, I know who that came from. And that could have helped grow you and expand you. That could have also helped you clean up the people that you had around you, but they could be talking about you and saying something as if it's a fact when in reality, you weeded out the snakes in your life. You gave someone the cold shoulder. You could have gave a few people the cold shoulder and whatever they're saying about you, it's something that has to do with your reputation, okay? That's interesting. Now, they showed me that, and I never think about that. So, some of you could have done that. Some of you could have found out people that you couldn't trust. Or some of you, they're giving that as advice to you. And here's the thing. You shouldn't have people around you that you have to lie to to see if they're honest and trustworthy. But sadly, in these days, you don't know who's really there because they want to be you, because they want to tear you down, or because they truly, truly care about you. And in my life, I have learned that nine times out of 10, people aren't around me because they like me. It's because they want something, because there's something that they can gain, or it's because they want to be me. And I have had the tendency to lie to friends and me find out that they're going around stirring that pot. And that's the quickest way to get rid of someone who's not a friend. So some of you need to do that, or some of you have done that, okay? <clears throat> These people could also be talking about something that they felt like you wanted to grow, that you were working on. These people could be saying that you put a boundary up towards whatever that was because it defeated and wounded you. It could be someone who was very ego-driven, unbalanced, Y'all, we got, we got a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. Okay, so there's someone energetically attached to you who's trying to hide this. This person's really sad and disappointed. This person's feeling stuck on you. They're single, but they're wishing that they were in your energy. Now, this could be what all of this is over. These could be people who were like, you know what? Pisces is in love with so-and-so. Pisces likes so-and-so. Pisces is sad that so-and-so and them broke up, that so-and-so cheated, that so-and-so didn't want them. It's like, again, they feel that something is factual when in reality it isn't. You could have went and told a friend something again to see what was going to happen. And I feel like you ended up ignoring or rejecting that person. There was an energy of, I'm now alone. I've went aloof. And there could be gossip around that. People talking about the fact that there was an ignoring, rejected, aloof type of energy. Well, what the f is going on? What's happening? Why are these people so in? 
I just don't know why these people are all up in your business like this, but we gonna keep going. But again, it could be around, now this could be an ex. This could be someone that you broke up with and they could be with someone else right now. And this person could be talking about you and saying how you've ignored and rejected that partner and how you're the horrible person. How could you break up with them? How could you treat them like that? And they could be really chattering and really I'm um, trying to figure out what they think is reality when they need to mind their own business, but whatevs. There could be something coming out of the dark though, okay? And what could be coming out of the dark is that the person that's emotionally attached to you is still emotionally attached to you. Again, baby mama, baby daddy, a spouse that you're not completely divorced from, but they're with someone else. Those people could be talking about you, the person that they're with, those family members, even the job where your person works. And they could be saying horrible things about you, how you emotionally detached and how you're not being honest about what's going on and you're hiding things. But with the moon coming out sideways, it's telling me you're not hiding anything. So anything that they feel is hidden is you having boundaries. Okay? Okay. But again, there could be someone energetically attached to you that's sad and disappointed because they're wanting some sense of like investments. They're wanting to water the plant with you and it's not happening and they're feeling like they're having a hard time letting this go. So again, this could be baby mama, baby daddy, a spouse. This could be someone where it's like you tried to figure out dating them and other people were chatting about it and giving their opinion, so you dipped out, but people are still saying, well, you know that they're kind of addicted to that relationship. They ain't let go of nothing. Like, they're a liar. When in reality, you're in the present moment, you're enjoying time to yourself. You're choosing better partners. You're taking care of yourself. You've grown a lot. But they're still trying to figure out something like different, something else. Yeah. Something that could have disappointed you or made you sad, but you went to something new that had major change, transformation, and new stable foundation. Yeah, and I feel like your gut's even telling you this. I feel like your gut is telling you I feel like your gut was telling you some sort of truth about these people, this situation, this dynamic. There's some sort of projected image here that's also being talked about. People could be saying you're a narcissist, to be honest with you. People could be saying that. They could be saying that you have a narcissistic personality. But maybe there's just acknowledgement here that it isn't, your, it isn't that you're a narcissist, it's that you have the ability to accept the truth to trust your gut feelings. And when you feel like people are talking behind your back, you handle it. If you feel like you need to lie to a friend to see if they being sneaky and going and talking about you, bet I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna test you. Sorry, I had to, but guess what, boo, you failed. That's the energy here. And you could have definitely turned your back on people who do not agree with it, who do not like. It's like, I don't like the way that you're showing up. Well, bet I'm only showing up to the energy that you gave me. So maybe you should look back at yourself and be like, why am I such a crappy person? Like, that's the energy I'm getting here. Okay. So you have a lot of people chatting about you who, again, are saying that you could have a little bit of a narcissistic personality. You could be in some sort of spotlight in some sense, form or fashion where people could watch you. This could also have people talking about you. I'm telling you, people are talking about something here where there was a lot of chemistry, passion. It could be baby mama, baby daddy, or a spouse. I had said this in the reading I stopped earlier, is that some people could be questioning a friendship that you have. Are you really friends? Is there something more? I don't know why that's their business, but for some of you, if you have a close friend, even if they're married, 
This could be like a distant cousin that you hang out with. There could be people questioning a dynamic that you have in your life and if it really is just a friend type of dynamic. So that's interesting because they're showing me my connections. I have a lot of people in my life who are not the same sex, mainly because I tend to get along with men better than women. I just, I can't help that. But people do have the tendency to question my dynamics and whether or not I'm being honest and if I'm, I'm hiding something in those dynamics. That's what I'm getting here. People could be questioning what you're hiding in certain dynamics in your life. And they could even be talking about it to other people. I think there's something more going on there. Did you see so-and-so in them? They talked. They talked for 10 minutes. I feel like that was a little too long for them to talk. That's the energy I'm getting here, okay? And again, there could be some sort of like, there's a secret, can you keep it element? But I don't feel that there is a secret. Because I'm hearing, got a secret, can you keep it? Better lock it in your pocket, taking this one to the grave. Because two can keep a secret if one of them is dead. Interesting. So for a lot of you here in the near future, if you're single, there will be some sort of courtship that's going to be taking place. There will be recognition around that as well. Or there's going to be recognition that you kept the hope alive and you allowed yourself to let go of someone from the past. But again, they, whoever these people are, they could be saying that you have a narcissistic personality. That's just how these people see you. Yeah, because there's some sense of sadness and disappointment. So here's the thing. People do have the tendency to want to diagnose us when we don't act the way that they want us to act. I think you might have been selfish. I think you might have been like, hey, it ain't none of your business. I mean, the truth is the truth. It ain't none of their business. They could have got their feelings hurt. That could then have them viewing you in a certain form or fashion that isn't necessarily honest, but mm, who cares? So these people could be sad and disappointed. There could also be sadness and disappointment that there's some sense of justice actually taking place for you. It's like, well, that's not fair. Well, life ain't fair. Something's going to work out for you. You've gotten to a point where you've protected your cup from family, from friends, from lovers, from people that you don't trust. You're going to protect yourself. And I'm seeing you turning your back on people that you once wanted to build with. But again, I'm seeing these people talking about you, talking about what you have going on, what they have perceived has failed in your life. But it's funny because, again, I feel like these people think that you have secrets. I feel like these people think that things have failed that you don't want to talk about. And here's the thing. That's fine. I just don't know why they... Yeah, there could be a leap or a risk that they felt that you took that you're having a hard time getting over. And it's funny because they're like, no, we see it clearly. We, we know that this is the truth. That's what I'm getting. It's like, oh, well, you took a leap on that business. It failed. We know that this is the truth. Well, you say that you and Beverly aren't dating, but I've seen the way you look at her and y'all are. That's these people's energy. It doesn't matter how many times you say, no, that didn't happen. That's not the truth. They, it's like, but I know it's the truth. Do you, do you know that it's the truth? And again, you're going to have some sense of message of good news coming in for you. So I don't see you focusing or worrying about these people. You could be having good news coming in towards something that you're growing. Yeah, it's like where there was a sense of, mm, this ain't working, you use that as fuel to the fire to grow something better, grow something more. And it's actually built some sense of stability. Do you know what I'm getting? Is that the reason these people are so focused on you and paying attention to you and talking about you is one, they're intimidated. You had the ability to turn something that was not beautiful into something beautiful where you have felt left out where have you where you have felt not enough where you have recognized and this isn't working for me you were able to turn that energy into something amazing into something stable and grounded and abundant and i feel like these people wish that they were by your side but they're not why did you have to leave these people behind 
these people actually might not be who they seem to be. They could have the tendency to project an image but not be that person. Be done. Learning lessons, walking away. That's what I'm saying. You've learned your lesson. You've walked away. These people could have been very unhealthy. They could have wanted too much from you. See, that's what I'm saying. Others. People are in the mix. Someone is cheating. There could have been a lot of other aspects to this. This could be people talking about some sort of cheating connection. These could be people talking about that you needed to date around. Um, who cares? I, these people are just really running their mouth. At the end of the day, what I'm saying is that you're doing what you need to do. You're not, a letting, you're not letting these people affect you, but they really do think that they know your life, which I think is just so, so interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna actually do another who's watching you reading because this one was really um, weird. So yeah, I'll be back. 